And yes, we say good evening to you and welcome you to another edition of Touching Lives here on Garden City Radio 89.9 FM. Touching Lives, of course, reaches you at about a quarter past four every Thursday on this particular station. The program is all about reaching out, touching, of course, uh, everyone in a way that uh, it has a positive effect all round on the environment and society and, of course, on the world in general. You can make a difference, it matters not how big, how tall, how short, how small you are. You have something to contribute indeed to this world of ours. On that note, I say welcome once again. I'm your anchor for the program. And here in the studios, I've got up regularly, I have Reverend Nicholas Ela here in the studios. Good evening to you, Reverend. An issue that's been brought up you know, some weeks back, it has to do with anger. Now, our talents, our gifts, our choices, our acts in this world, and even our temperament can actually affect all those around us. It can actually affect it positively or negatively. Now, that temperament, you know, that anger, which most times, you know, is uh, fairly common these days, uh, how far can anger go to actually make or break or to actually uh, create or destroy or to encourage or discourage individuals around us? Uh, this has actually been started some weeks back. So first of all, Reverend, let's perhaps get a refresh, a refresher's course concerning anger before we narrow down to, of course, anger control approaches uh, today. Anger. What is anger? And, you know, that temperament. Everybody knows you know, to be angry, but how big a role is anger in, of course, for an individual's life? How does, how does it affect all those around you? That the issue of anger is as old as you. <laughs> it has been an issue discussed for the past 2,000 years. And uh, very surprising, there is no one out there that can only say, I have never been angry. So when something is so common and has to live with you and around you, definitely we really need to pay good attention to an issue like this. Be careful look again at what uh, people have experienced in the cause of anger. Proves to us that there is need for reuse. What I mean by reuse is that we can actually Take cases of what has affected us negatively called anger and make something better out of it. I think that's why we brought this matter up and discuss as anger treat. Because if we are able to touch lives of people in the use of anger, definitely we will be able to cause more productive things. As you rightly asked me then, what do I look anger to be? And I feel not many people will want to pay this attention to discover what do you call anger. They all know we get angry, or oh, this person is angry. But I, I'm happy to say that anger normally is an expression of extreme emotional makeup. Extreme emotional makeup. That means everybody has an emotion. But when the emotion is extreme. Well, sometimes I could be happy, and that's extreme, or rather, not just happy, joyous, you know, jubilant. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. That's that's that is why extreme. we say anger has to do with feelings. Okay. That feeling may be love. Joy, with fear. So the same way you see yourself being frail up in some other things, the same way anger comes. The only part side of it that is going negative. Okay, so it's more of a negative, negative. negative emotion, a negative yeah. feeling than that a positive is extreme. one. Okay. Far beyond what you are expected to do. At that point, we say, oh, there is an anger. And why we are bothered at this point again? is that where it is not carefully handled can affect the whole of your life, can destroy you health-wise, can affect you in your profession, can affect you in so many productive aspects of your life. So in other words, there is what you can call problem anger. So you're saying anger is not only negative to those around someone who carries such an emotion, it's also destructive and a negative thing that can affect the person who possesses yeah. such an emotion. Right? Yes, yes. So some of them, the recipients of the anger, may not even know that you're angry with him. Now, on that note now, you see that you are more, more or less obstructing your own system, not even the person that you're angry with. So at uh, this time now, you, if, you, if something like that now is happening around such a person, you will see that you are the one that is suffering, not even the person you are. So you're saying, <laughs> not even the recipient of my anger, <laughs> you may just well take it as one yeah, of those things. So yeah. I suffer for the anger I dole out <laughs> yes, to someone. Yeah, yeah, because at that point now, they, because that person may not have known that he had gotten you offended. Or that person may be ignorant of what you are angry for. 
if such a person now is ignorant of that, that now you know that such a person will be living a, a normal life but when anytime you see the person that you flame up anytime you see such a person that you will feel that your enemy has arrived and he, he, it will also obstruct every part of you and if you if you have also observed with me now you know that once you see somebody that you don't want to see it will obstruct your system emotion is a feeling you know it's, it's not something we go to the market and buy so I don't, i'm not thinking anyone will go to the market and go and buy anger so that means it's something natural but um basically it's poisonous and injurious to the system that's what it is last time when we discussed we shared on air that anger is so destructive because it works with an important element in you called the adrenaline yeah and the adrenaline when you released can destroy you and then we cited a case of uh, the animal called lion. the lion you can see that the lion itself out of anger can die naturally nature instantly so it's very poisonous and people that have more chronic cases that is incurable problem that can no longer be soft even spiritually is always traced to anger so at this point because you have said it is something that appears to be natural I will want my apostle to throw more light again on what has scared me more. Because some people that are naturally angry, they are just facing what they don't know. They don't know sometimes that this is an issue that is transferable. You can move from your parents to you. You can be born into it.